Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about NeoLoad cloud testing. So first off, what is it? It's pretty much our NeoLoad load testing solution combined with the NeoDisk cloud platform and we integrate these for ease of use. So here's some of the main benefits of NeoLoad cloud testing. It's dynamic, it's really fast and easy to set up. It's also a very comprehensive tool and it'll be effective. You'll just pay as you use it and it just combines in-house testing with cloud testing. And then to use it, you can launch a cloud session. You can do that from NeoLoad or from Neotis website if you have a planned session. And you're just going to start your test and then stop the cloud session. And then we're just going to analyze the results. Perfect, so let's get started. So in NeoLoad, we're just going to go into the Runtime tab. And then we're going to click here to enter the cloud session wizard. and then you can create an on-demand session or you can use an existing session. I'm going to click next and then you can notify your team if necessary. And then you're going to schedule the session's end date. And as you can see here, you can choose different load generators in different geographical zones. And you're just going to mark the number of load generators you'd like to use. And now your session is set up and ready for use. And now we're going to walk through reserving a cloud session on the Neotis website, and this will be in your customer area. We're just going to go up to the reservation and reserve a session. We're going to give the session a name, and then you're just going to choose the NeoLoad version that you're working with. And then you're also going to have the ability to send email notifications to any relevant team members. We're going to choose our start and end dates. And then we're also going to reserve the IP addresses in advance so that you can configure your firewalls. And then we're going to define the number of generators for each geographical zone. Perfect. And as you can see, the session is set up and ready for your use. So now we're going to move on to step two, and we're going to start our test in NeoLoad. And the load generators defined in the cloud session are going to be grouped into zones in NeoLoad, as you can see here. But we're just going to go and we're going to edit our load variation policy. We are going to create a maximum number of users and set our duration policy to no limit. So 20,000 simultaneous virtual users after 20 minutes will be our maximum. So we're going to go ahead and start our test. So when you run your test, you're going to be able to see statistics in real time. As you can see, the users entering your application We're actually going to jump a little bit further along, just so you can see those statistics in real time and how they'll appear during your test. And we can go into our runtime graphs and monitor your servers in real time. And then you can also filter the geographical zones of interest to you in real time as well. You can do that just by clicking up in the filters here. And then we're just going to stop our test. So now we're going to move on to step three, stopping your cloud session. And you can do that from NeoLoad or the NeoDIS website. So in NeoLoad, we're just going to open the cloud session manager here. And then the various cloud sessions and their load generators are going to be listed. And then you can edit the session end date or you can stop the session to avoid using your remaining credits. From the Neotis website, you can access your cloud sessions via your customer portal and the administration interface. And you can edit or end your session. And there we'll end it. Perfect. Now we're going to move on to step four. We're going to analyze our results. 
So the results of your test are going to be available as soon as the test ends, and we can see this in our test summary in NeoLoad. And you're going to be able to compare between different geographical zones. And then there are also different statistics you can run through in the sidebar here. I'm just going to go into our values tab and you'll be able to compare business transactions by zone. And then you're also going to be able to analyze your server's behavior from different geographical zones in our graphs tab. And that will be how you analyze your results from your cloud test. So thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, and if you'd like more information, feel free to visit our link here in the slide. Thank you again for joining us.